What's up, blockchain? This is Nick from Truth Blitz. Uh, I told you guys I was going to make a video on how to register your, your EOS tokens so that way when the EOS platform is launched, um, you will get the equal amount of EOS tokens uh, that you hold currently in your My Ether wallet or your other ERC20 token wallet. You'll get the equal amount on the new EOS blockchain uh, when the platform is fully released. You need to do this because if you do not, within 48 hours, I believe, of the end of the EOS token sale, um, then you will not get the actual EOS tokens on their own blockchain and the ERC20 EOS tokens that you currently hold will virtually become worthless. Okay, so this is a need to know uh, for you guys who hold EOS, especially if you have a lot of money into it. So we're going to start um, right here. You have my Ether wallet. This is what we're going to use. Uh, you're going to need your private key, and this is just a, a wallet I'm using for demonstration purposes. There's nothing in it, and I'm not going to use it again. So um, I have taken this private key, and I've copied it onto a notepad document. All right, next thing we're gonna do, and I'm gonna put the link to this website in the description. You're going to go to this website here. It's uh, the EOS token sale site or page on GitHub. And you are going to generate your EOS keys. These are gonna be the keys to your EOS wallet on the EOS blockchain once it is released. So you have your public and your private key. So we're gonna take those, we're gonna copy them into a notepad document as well. Um, all right, so now what you are going to do is go back to my Ether wallet. You're going to go to contracts and by the way you need to make sure that you have at least 0 0.01 eth in your wallet to do this okay also i would set up a my ether wallet that just has your eos tokens in it nothing else so make a new my ether wallet put 0 0.01 ethereum in it and put your eos tokens in that wallet so do that like I said, click on contracts. You're going to go to select a contract. Go down to EOS contribution. You see it already has the contract here. You click access. Okay. So next thing we're going to do is go down here to select a function. And go all the way down second from the bottom and click register. Okay. So next thing that we are going to do. We're going to click private key. Okay, over here on the key string, what we're going to do is we're going to take the public address for EOS that you just generated and put that where it says key string. We're going to take your private key for your new My Ether wallet that you just made for your EOS tokens and paste that right here. Next thing we're going to do is click unlock. Okay. After that, all you have to do is click right. Gas limit and amount to send are automatic, but the amount to send is zero. The gas limit should be at least what it says here. Uh, to be on the safe side, you can put 100,000, but it should come up automatically um, as this here. Generate transaction. Yes, I'm sure. Obviously, I don't have the funds to do this, um, but this is what you want to do. So if you had the funds, if you had the EOS tokens and uh, the funds in here to, to make this transaction, it would go through. Um, you can click on the uh, Etherscan link on the bottom to verify to make sure that it went through. And if it did, you're all set. Um, your 
wallet and your EOS tokens that are in that wallet are now registered. Uh, basically, what that's going to do is uh, give EOS a snapshot of the wallet that you hold your EOS tokens in. That way, when the platform is actually released at the end of the token sale, you'll get the equal amount on the new blockchain uh, in that public address that we used here under Keystring. So pretty simple to do, but this is something you need to make sure you do um, if you don't want to get screwed and lose your EOS tokens, okay? Because there's going to be a ton of people who are not going to do this. Um, they don't realize that EOS is going to be and is is and going to be its own thing um, and the ERC 20 tokens ERC 20 EOS tokens are going to become worthless EOS is its own ecosystem or is going to be its own ecosystem its own blockchain um, you know the ERC 20 tokens on the Ethereum blockchain was just used to give investors something um, during the crowd sale okay so it doesn't matter if you purchase the tokens uh, through EOS in the ICO or if you got them on an exchange but they need to be in this wallet one thing I do not know um, and I need to look into this I don't know if once you register your tokens on your wallet if you can add more tokens to that wallet um, I have not looked into that. I should have done that before this video. I, I just, I really don't know. So to play it safe, what I'm going to do is if I, well, first of all, I have not registered mine yet. So I'm going to wait till closer to the end of the crowd sale, uh, to register. And also if I do pick up more tokens after I register, what I'm going to do is put them in a new wallet and have two separate wallets just to play it safe. Uh, so but like I said, this is how to register the tokens. It's pretty easy to do. Make sure you do it, okay? You're gonna hate yourself if you don't. All right, this has been Nick from Truth Blitz. I'll see you guys next time.